Hello guys and welcome back to Paint.net Tutorials! I know this series has been on a hiatus for a little while, however, now I am back and ready to record once again. So last time I showed you how to do simple stuff, um, I showed you how to work all these tools, like the magic wand tool, oh dear. Um, I showed you how to use the lasso tool and the selection tool. There's been a lot of comments, thank you very much for commenting and telling me advice on how to do these tutorials. Um, they're very helpful, I guess, and I guess I'll take your advice and you can take mine in return in regard to Paint.net. Okay, so this episode I'm going to show you the more intricate things and what you can do with the stuff I've already taught you last time. So let's begin. Right, so you're probably wondering why I've got a picture of a washing line right here. And that is because I'm going to edit this picture onto here. Boris Johnson on a zip wire onto this washing line. Okay, so we're going to have to put our magic wand tool to use this time. And I'm going to be teaching you how to cut things out and stick them onto other pictures and make them look quite realistic and as though they belong there. Okay, so first of all we select our magic wand tool and um, click on the background. Right. Okay, so you can mess about with this, with the tolerance, if it's got like little sticky sticky bits. As you can see, if I zoom in, using control and my mouse scroll, if I zoom in, as you can see, that's not that's not very nice. Um, so if we just lower the tolerance, um, yep, that's going to be fine. Okay, so now we deleted the majority of it, but now I'm going to um, refine some bits, and I'm going to speed that up so that you guys won't have to sit through it. Right, as you can see, um, we've got ourselves a bit of the Union Jack um, deleted, so what we can do to, um, to save that is uh, select the colour of the white. Um, oh dear, from here, sorry, wrong layer. Select the colour of the white and just grab our brush and get it back. So there we go. Okay, let's carry on. Right, okay, as you can see I blurred out um, the picture slightly to get rid of these um, lines which I can't get rid of manually unless I do some tedious um, lasso work. But now I just want to do this quickly. So um, let's put this here. Okay, we're going to attach him to this to make it look a little bit more funny. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, first what we have to do is align the picture onto where we want it. Now we have to work on layers. This is quite a lot of layer work. So let's pop this at the front. And we want to put um, whatever we want over his head um, in a layer above the picture. Right, so we have to crop it around, um, crop this area, I think, oh dear, that, that was a little bit over. Okay, we have to be really careful here, oh dear, that's a little bit off, but never mind. No one will ever know. Okay, sorry, y you always have to make sure to have the right layer selected, um, I make that mistake all the time. Okay, so now we've got it over, if we put Boris Johnson here, he should be, there you go, he's kind of attached to it. Okay, now if we delete a little bit of this, um, it should look much better. There we go. Uh, yep, yeah, that looks fine. Okay, um, hold on. Oh dear. Okay, there we go. And pop him a little bit more. And if we want, we can add a bit of shadow onto his helmet. Um, to make it look a bit more like he's actually attached to this thing. Um, right, so let's get our brush tool going. Let's make a new layer. Um, let's make it above Boris Johnson himself. Okay. Um, let's just... Okay, now we have to work on this bit. Okay, now you have to put the blur tool to use. To the Gaussian blur. So now you blur it. And yep, it should look better. There you go. Right, so what we've got ourselves here is a marshmallow character, one of my cartoon series' characters, but that doesn't matter. 
Um, now we're going to be teaching you a bit about shadow and how to make the image look as though it's standing on a on an invisible floor. Okay, so at the moment um, my character is just standing here in the white abyss, uh, but we're going to make a shadow to make this illusion that she's actually standing somewhere. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to make a new layer between this layer and my background layer. We need to click the layer and get our brush tool to a, a nice a nice size. Um, that's always relative to your actual image and the thing you want to make a shadow of. So we need to draw a little black line, um, go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, and just get it up to a reasonable blur to make it look like a shadow. There you go, now it looks like he's standing on an invisible ground. Right, next up, I'm going to be answering a request sent in by TangoZoo6. How do you do your background? Could you do a tutorial on it? Now, you probably already know that my theme is a striped blue background, but it's not just um, bold um, coloured stripes. It's actually kind of like shaded stripes that go from blue to a lighter shade of blue. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So if we just zoom in and delete this, I just had that up to be able to show you what I mean. Okay, so first what you have to do is make a, a, a template for your stripe and how thick it's going to be. So um, I'm just going to make it this thick. Now you have to go to your magic wand tool and fill this in. Now you have to go to your gradient tool. Um, and for this you have to choose both a primary and a secondary colour to be able to um, do this step. So for the primary colour you have to choose um, what colour you want it to go from. So for this, for tutorial's sake, I'm going to do a nice shade of blue, just like in my logo. Um, now for the secondary colour, you have to choose what colour you want it to go to. So a lighter shade. So there you go. Now we have to keep the gradient tool up, click on roughly the middle of your stripe, hold down shift to keep the line straight, and pull it a little bit so that you get a nice smooth gradient. Now you can fill this in using the magic wand tool, click Control X to cut it, now we have to delete the line, paste it once again, copy it, and then you can just paste it throughout your entire background. <laughs> There you go, that's my background down. Thank you for your request, TangoZoo6. I'm more than happy to receive um, requests. Um, so if you want to make a request on whatever you want to see, um, a tutorial or speed drawing or whatever, just comment in the comment section and I'll answer it in the next tutorial episode. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.